everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, follow, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, Sunday, 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 we'll be sitting down right here on this channel, all right, and doing a live game reaction to the Jets-Cowboys game. We'll be watching that together. And directly after that game, we'll be doing a live radio show right here on this channel, directly after the game. Live radio show, we'll be talking about what we saw in the game, all that stuff. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side, yeah. I've come to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets upcoming game against the Cowboys. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, all right, it's time. We gotta face those boys, all right? Listen, the Jets are wanna know, Cowboys are wanna know, and it's time for us to go in there and do whatever it takes to get a victory, all right? now. We know Aaron Rodgers out with the Achilles. Zach Wilson is our starter at quarterback. And that's where I want to start. I want to start on the Jets offense. Listen, Zach Wilson must be careful with the football, okay? He must be careful with the football. He must take care of it. He must get the ball out of his hands quickly. And he must, must stay away from making the big, stupid mistakes. No crazy interceptions. No, just, just dumb plays. Stay away from those things, which I believe that he can do. All right, because keep in mind, I, I absolutely believe, okay, I predict that the Cowboys game plan defensively is to bring a ton of pressure. All right, they're going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at Zach Wilson, just like a lot of people did the last two years. I believe what the Cowboys game plan is going to be defensively is to stack the box and say, listen, we're going to send people, we're going to send a ton of blitzes. Zach, show us you can beat us with your arm. And until you do that, we're just going to keep doing that. All right? Their number one thing is going to be we're going to stop the run and we're going to throw everything at Zach Wilson. And he's going to have to figure things out or get killed. <laughs> like that, that is what I believe the game plan is going to be for the Dallas Cowboys defensively. Of course, they have a great defensive front as well already. But I think blitzes and more pressure is on the way. And I also want to see how Nathaniel Hackett game plans for that defensive game plan and also how he's going to counter with in-game adjustments. I want to see that as well uh, on the, on, within the Jets' offense too. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes on that. The play calling, I'm going to keep my eyes on Zach getting the ball out of his hands quickly and making smart throws. Now, the Jets' offensive line, suspect last week in pass protection. Whoa. Okay. Dwayne Brown, uh, Lake and Thompson, whoa. <laughs> Brother, okay, we need to get it together because this defensive front, the Cowboys, monsters, okay, monsters. If you cannot properly protect Zach Wilson this week, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Listen, D-Law, Armstrong, Osa, those are guys that they have on the building, right, that can really amp up and ramp up the pressure. But this dude, Micah Parsons, oh my goodness. Whoa, okay, whoa. We have to find a way to make sure that he does not start getting going and go crazy. All right. He's a guy literally that can take over a game and just wreak havoc. We do not need that here. Okay. We've got to find some way to make sure that that guy gets identified play after play after play and eliminated here. We cannot let him go off because once he starts getting after your QB and running around and, and smacking people and causing problems, boy, there's going to be some issues. And I believe the way to alleviate that issue is to run the football effectively at the Dallas Cowboys. Listen, we got Dalvin Cook, we got Brees Hall, we got Michael Carter. We need to get it going on the ground. We had over 100 yards against the Bills. That is a very tough defense in this league, a very tough, one of the top defenses in this league. We've got to be able to effectively run the ball against the Dallas Cowboys. Now listen here, <laughs> Garrett Wilson versus Trevon Diggs. Mm, I hear it. Now, Trevon Diggs is a solid corner, but he holds a lot, okay? So I think that we'll probably get some flags coming our way for that def uh, defensive 
pass interference, okay? I think that's going to happen. But I think that this is a game where Garrett Wilson could really go off if he's, you know, screened for and we get the ball in his hands. He has a big opportunity here. Now, Diggs, again, he's not a horrible corner, but he's a guy that holds a lot. And when he gets beat, boy, he's in a lot of trouble, all right? Now you go to the defensive side of the ball. We got to get after Dak, man. We got to get after Dak. This is a guy, when you get pressure in his face, that turns into turnovers. He also has a propensity as well to roll into sacks. So he sometimes he just runs into pressure, which is crazy. Now, we will have Carl Lawson back in the building, okay, this week. He'll be in the game, as well as Miko Hartman for offense. But Carl Lawson is going to be playing in this upcoming game. So that adds yet another wrinkle to the New York Jets pass rushing situation. Jermaine Johnson, Quinny Williams, Huff. You know what I'm saying? We're getting it going. John Franklin Myers, we're getting it rolling here. We got to get after Dak and put him on his keister immediately, all right? Now, I believe the Cowboys are going to try to come out and run the ball. It's going to be Tony Pollard. You know, they also got this guy, Deuce Vaughn, who is scary as well. He's a small guy. He's extremely quick. I think we'll be able to shut that down. I really, really do. I don't think they're going to be able to run effectively because their offensive line is pretty banged up. Right. You look at uh, Tyler Smith, their left guard. He's dealing with a hamstring injury. Zach Martin, starting right guard. He's dealing with a groin injury. We'll probably see Chuma Adoga, an old offensive lineman that used to be here. He's not very good, but he's, uh, you know, at this point, I believe he's going to be their starting guard. We should be able to shut this running game down. And Adoga might be the weak link there that can really get us some interior pass rush that can open up some opportunities because I don't think he's that good. And it could set us for up for real success defensively now the thing that i'm worried about cd lamb man cd lamb is a very good wide receiver in this league i'm pretty sure they're going to match him up with sauce and sauce is probably going to follow him around but cd is a guy that i'm really concerned about uh there offensively man that guy whew, one of the better wide receivers in the league and it is going to be quite a match for sauce this week of course sauce is a great corner we saw Diggs, you know doing his thing i think Diggs had like 60 something yards last week nothing crazy but cd is a is a beast as well so it's going to be quite a challenge as well this week for sauce now brandon cooks the other wide receiver they have he's dealing with an mcl sprain hmm. so it's looking like he probably won't play this week against the jets but they still have some other guys too that can get going as well michael gallup that's a really good wide receiver and then they also got this guy turpin too so dj reed is also going to be able you know to do some work on that other side and dj reed's a really good corner as well so my final thing is special teams okay we saw special teams win us a game last week against the bills right we also saw it have a great effect in the game greg zerline did some great work a lot of kicks kicks that made really put us in a great situation to eventually take the game over. Well, Greg Zerline is 50-50 this week. He is dealing with a groin injury. The New York Jets had tryouts for kickers uh, Friday, and we'll see what happens going forward with him. Now, keep in mind, again, he's 50-50 to play against the Cowboys. I believe that this is going to be a very tight game. This game with two good defenses, right? Dallas Cowboys have a good defense. The Jets have a great defense. You look at their offenses, still trying to get on track, get rolling, right? This could be a tight game. And in a tight game, a field goal could be the difference between a win and a loss. Solid kicking, okay, could be the difference between a win and a loss. So that's a big concern for me uh, going forward is seeing what the state of Greg Zerline is. So we'll see if he'll actually be able to play. Something's telling me that he probably will, but again, he's 50-50, okay? So with all of that said, I am taking the New York Jets to beat the Dallas Cowboys in a tight game. 17 to 14. 17 to 14. I am taking the New York Jets to beat the Dallas Cowboys. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about this situation? What are your thoughts about the Jets offense? Do you think Zach Wilson will be able to take care of the ball and produce against his Dallas Cowboys defense? Do you think our offensive line We'll get guys blocked. Do you think we'll be able to run the football effectively? What are your thoughts about the Jets' defense? Are you concerned about the Cowboys' running game? Do you think we'll be able to get after Dak? And do you think we'll be able to quiet CeeDee Lamb? Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. You folks have a good one. Peace.